Hi everybody, happy Easter and welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good so far this Easter Sunday. Uh, I slept a little late this morning. I needed it though. I mean, I, you know, after having my infusion, I feel just really just beat up and wore out and stuff. So I, I actually slept pretty good. Uh, which I said, like I said, I need it bad. So anyway, we're going to get going now. Uh, our prayer request tweets is still in pain, but a little better. Her grandson needs prayer to heal him from addiction. Autumn Leaves needs prayer for her daughter. She has Crohn's disease. Diane Clark's son-in-law, Greg, is no better. Pray for the people in Alabama that were affected by the tornado and for the families of the ones that died and also of the Tennessee flooding and the victims there too. Sheila's stepfather passed away Tuesday night. Pray for her and the family. Colleen's doctor put her daughter on a med for anxiety. Pray it helps. Beth needs prayer. Her check didn't go in her account. Pray they can fix the problem. And Beth's niece ended up back in the hospital with blood clots. Please, please pray for the baby she's carrying. They said so far it seems okay. And she got to go home yesterday from the hospital, but she's still sick. Karina's sister's doing a little better, sitting up and standing up some. They will be taking her food tube out of her nose and putting it in her stomach. Karina still has pain in her leg. Pray they can do something uh, because the out-of-pocket cost is really high. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. It's awful. Okay. Our scripture of the day comes from John 20, 11 through 18. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seating where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. I have seen the Lord, and she told them that he had said these things to her. Amen. Can you imagine what that was like? Okay, our, our uh, devotion today is entitled, In the Garden. My dad loved to sing old hymns. One of his favorite was, In the Garden. A few years back, we sang it at his funeral. The chorus is simple, and he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own, and the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. That song brought joy to my dad, and it does to me. Hymn writer C. Austin Miles says he wrote this song in spring 1912 after reading chapter 20 of the Gospel of John. As I read it that day, as I read it that day, I seemed to be part of the scene. I became a silent witness to that dramatic moment in Mary's life when she knelt before her Lord and cried, Rabboni. In John 20, we find Mary Magdalene weeping near Jesus' empty tomb. There she met a man who asked why she was crying. Thinking it was a gardener, she spoke with the risen Savior Jesus. Her sorrow turned to joy, and she ran to tell the disciples, I have seen the Lord. 
We too have the assurance that Jesus is risen. He's now in heaven with the Father, but he hasn't left us on our own. Believers in Christ have, this, have his spirit inside us, and through him we have the assurance of joy and joy of knowing he's with us, and we are his own. How is it comforting to know that you don't have to do this life on your own? When have you intimately felt Jesus' presence? Jesus, I'm so thankful you're alive and that your child, you live in me. And as your child, you live in me. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. And help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus or this tornado and flooding, Lord. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. It's pretty out. Nice and sunny. I don't know if it's as cold as it has been or not. I need to get my... I put my plants out for... Uh, you know, my little plants I'm growing for the garden. I put them out for several hours yesterday, and I'm going to start getting them, you know, acclimated to the full sun out there. So, um, probably put them back out there as soon as it gets a little bit warmer. So, everybody, I guess I'll see you in just a little bit on morning coffee break. Bye, everybody, and God bless.